magic makers and welcome. This is Lisa McArdle, your inner wisdom awakener, here with your September energy update. What a wild year it has been. And I would love to come in today and say that September was going to be the like, ah, crescendo of all ease and all grace. And in fact, it does have the capacity to be that. And it's going to come with its own essence of some complications and some fundamentally extremely necessary reorganization. So that happens on an interpersonal level. It happens on a global level. There is no separation in this new frequency. What is happening within is also happening. What's happening internally is also happening externally. You're a mirror of all of it. And as we move through this strong foundation building year of 2020, the old must collapse so that the new can birth itself into this new earth, into a new way of being, and into your highest elevation of consciousness. You said yes, dear friends, and here you are on this extraordinary ride. So let's dive into September. What can you expect? A little bit from the astrology perspective. Um, we must find certainty in the uncertainty and move ahead into the creation of what it is you desire, even if you do not have a clear vision or shall we say a clear indicator of where it is that you are going. The illusions of third dimensionality of believing that we were controlling anything, that is part of what is falling away. So can you find the space inside of yourself to move? with certainty, even when everything around you is uncertain. The astrology for this month, we're going to move into a full moon in Pisces on the 2nd of September. So we have this Virgo energy and we have this Pisces energy. So Pisces brings in the emotion and then Virgo brings in the organization. So you might find it to be um, a little bit more of an emotional full moon than what you are accustomed to. That can bring with it um, a little bit of um, discomfort, I want to say. But also, as we know, all full moons are the great way shower, right? It's the great light expander. So when this full moon comes and it comes to, to shine a great light on your emotional density is the word that wants to come. And to gift you the opportunity to come into sovereignty over your emotional body, a lot of navigation of the pain body, to organize um, they're saying right now to organize illusions that you have held primary into a way that gifts you the opportunity to embody your emotional, your emotional body to move in a new order where the emotional body, the pain body is not as much of the conductor of your orchestra as it is um, maybe the first chair of one of your prized violins is what my guides are saying. So, so this full moon, it's this opportunity between the, the bold light and looking at the emotional body. And it's really important that both ends of the spectrum are, are found in balance and harmony, because if you're too prevail, if too much energy is being placed into the emotional body, um, this also informs a lot to do with the balance of your spiritual and your physical life. Okay, so this is the place where you get to really come into accordance with balance in the aspects of your expression. So this is meaning that if one aspect is out of balance, you might be living a very chaotic life. Or you might be living an overly organized life where, where there's a lot of control at the helm. You want to find that sweet spot in the middle. And this full moon is going to gift you with the opportunity to really look at that with clear eyes and to make some really fundamental decisions about how you're going to move forward um, vibrationally and emotionally. And then we'll move into the new moon in Virgo on the 17th. And it gives you a fresh new start. You're going to find a lot of balance and a lot of practicality and, and how the mind is operating. It feels like a little bit of a of a pause between the the mental mind body and the soul body have been almost at odds through a good portion of these last few months. And it's feeling like this new moon energy in Virgo is going to bring some balance to that, where it feels like there's more accordance between the mind and the soul, giving you the foot up 
to move into greater soul recognition. We're really deconstructing the aspects of the mind to elevate the expression of the soul. And that's why it's been a lot of confusion in both internally and externally over this course these last months, really. So when we come into harmony with that, this new moon, this fresh start is going to give you that balance to really come into some kind of a new frequency between the mind and the soul. Um, and we're also moving, oh, let's move into the astrology, actually. Well, we're actually also moving into, this month is going to bring us the eclipse. I mean, excuse me, the um, equinox. We're going to move into the fall, the autumnal equinox will happen on September the 22nd. And that day brings us into balance again, riding this new moon energy of balance that's going to gift you with equal light and equal darkness. That's what these eclipse or equinox, I always do that, equinox days do is they bring the light and the dark into complete balance. We have 12 hours of light, 12 hours of dark. And also metaphorically, it also gives you a real opportunity to balance the light and the dark of your own being, the shadows, right? The mind, the soul, just like I was saying, and also to gift us universally and collectively um, as humans on this earth with some, some balance and some order. Um, and then let's move into the numerology. So we're moving into September. It's a nine month. Nine is the number of completion. Um, it's also about creation. It, it represents wholeness, completion, and endings. Now, if we take the universal code, we take nine plus the four, and it brings us to the 13, which also one plus three brings us to four. So this has a universal code month of four. So we're in a four year and we're in a four month. So strong foundations, structure, discipline, organization. And so we're matched with that Virgo energy of organization and this four energy really times two, right? The four, four universal month and the four year. So we're here really optimizing our strong foundations, strong structures. Also remember when we move into the full potency of four, we can expect some deconstruction deconstruction for reorganization, right? Deconstruction of wobbly or outdated, we will say, foundational principles uh, or structure stabilizations that we have built our realities upon, right? So it's a deconstruct to reconstruct. And so you're going to get that times two. So what does this mean? And it deals a lot with your security, okay? And it's a lot about feeling secure. And where do you find your security? And what illusions do you play in that you perceive gifts you security? It's also bringing up a lot around money. So there's a lot of money focus happening this month. Um, some of the frequencies and energies, both astrologically and numerologically, are going to bring you... Um, the word that wants to come is like windfalls, like opportunities for really activating abundance rapidly. When they come knocking at your door, of course, always feel into your soul center, but it's a great time to leap. It's a great time to take, I'll say risk. It's a great time to dive in, especially where it comes to money. Now, it also means that um, you must get really organized with your money. Okay, so it's it's time to look at your finances. It's time to look at where you're leaking money or spending money or not paying attention to money. Money loves attention. It loves order. The more you are in relationship with the energy, it's just an essence, just an energy. The more you're in relationship with it um, in a compassionate um, friend kind of way, the greater uh, fluidity, the greater the desire of money itself to play with you. So this is a great time to get organized uh, in your monies, look where it's going, look where it's coming from, and it's a, a wonderful month for exponentially expanding that energy frequency of money in and around you, um, as a lot around fi finances is going to be deconstructed too. So it's also a really great month to connect, to make new connections, connections with new people, to deepen relationships. Uh, you might find yourself finding um, coming into alignment with some new people that you just like, you fall in love, right? You fall in love, it's deep, and they could be actually become lifelong friends, partners, um, whether in love or in business or in creation. Uh, it's a good month for that. Strong foundations to be built in relationships. Um, and it's an okay month to take some risk, and that means both personally and 
um, you know, financially and also personally, sometimes you have to take a risk to let new people in your community and into your life. And there's a really interesting energy in, in numerology happening this month in that this is the one time of the year that your personal number is going to, you have the your amplification of your, of your year's personal number will match the, the months, the numerology. So there's a way to figure out your personal number. You basically take your birth month and your birth date and add it to this, the year, which is, this is a four year. So that's going to give you your personal number for the year. And uh, I'll put um, something in um, the the chat below for you to uh, be able to look and see what that active, what that turns into for you personally. I'll put a link. So there's four energy sequences that my guidance said were to be focused upon this month. Number one is letting go. It's the surrender. Now, I know we've been doing a lot of that. There's something about this letting go that is next level letting go. It's letting go of attachment and it's letting go of expectations. It's letting go of moving the engine too far ahead. It's letting go of, if I do A, I'll get to B, I'll get to C, and then that'll happen, that'll happen, that'll happen. You're letting go of future projections so you can stay in present time. This letting go is, has been a real theme through this year, and it will continue to be. And then this month, in a lot of ways, it, it amplifies. And it's it's more an amplification of letting go. I'm getting from an emotional perspective. Um, yes, it will translate into, it's good. It's a good month to get in or, order, which actually brings us to the next word, which is organization. It's a great month to get an organization. You may continue with some purging. You may continue, continue with letting go. It's like organizing your thoughts, organizing your vibrational sequences, organizing your desires and your dreams. It's organizing your home, the things, your expression. It's also, it's organizing your money. It's about getting really in order, bringing things to order. And in that process of order organization, you might also find yourself needing to let go of some things that you've really held tightly to, whether they be objects or thought processes. And believe me, there's going to be plenty of opportunities this month to also be, I'm going to say, put up to the edges of what you perceive or believe that you know to be true. And what if this wasn't true? And what if there was something else that was true that I hadn't given myself the opportunity to look at? So there's a reorganization in the cells and the thought process. And then there's also an opportunity to let go. What if you were attached to nothing and allowed for everything? That is my mantra this month. Attached to nothing, allow for everything. Show me. The next one is the void or the pause. Stay finding a space of being in, some people call it the zero point. There's a void energy that's available to you. It might feel like everything and nothing at the same time, but you are to set intention and create practices to put you in that, in that still zero point, in that pause. It's the eye of the storm is how I like to think about it. There's moments in time when you get to find the true, the eye of the storm. This whole year, personally, interpersonally, globally, it's a spiral. It's a swirl of a storm, right? This is how we create new. There is moments where you can sit very beautifully, very intentionally, very um, in a next level of presence in the eye, right? It's calm. It's quiet quiet. Everything can be spinning around you. But the opportunity at hand is to land into that pause point, into the still point, into that, into the eye of the proverbial storm so that you can re-anchor, reorganize, recenter, and wait for the next world to come because it's coming. And then as always, in all things, I asked my connections, my ethereal connections. What is the one thing you most want me to speak to for this month? And they said, love, find it, expand upon it, allow it to grow both internally and externally. Are you willing to be your greatest expression of love? Are you willing to be in the greatest expression of love of yourself 
so that you then can be in your greatest expression of love of others. Love is the frequency, my friends, that shall carry us to the promised land. It's the essence that you can only find when you're willing to stand in the eye of the storm long enough to find your center, willing to surrender to let go of everything you ever perceived or believed to be true, trusting that love of source, love of spirit, love shall be the, the elevator, shall be the ascender shall be the essence, shall be the vibrational frequency that carries us forward, carries you forward. So in all things, seek for love. Let go, surrender, organize your thoughts, your things, your presence. Find the pause, find the center, the eye of the storm, so that you can then expand your frequency of love. You've got this. You are made for this. You said yes to this, no matter what comes, no matter what you're experiencing. This is your soul's yes to being here as we usher in a new earth, as we transform the consciousness of humanity at large. You are significant. You are magnificent because you exist and because you're here at this most precious time of global transformation of consciousness acceleration. You hold so much value in this, in this pr pristine, pr this pristine, it's like they're showing me the, the inner workings of a timepiece that everything must click and tick in perfect order to make the tick tock go. You are a piece of that, of that precision and your presence here is the expression of it. I love you. I am so grateful that you are here being who you are being so that we might all rise together. You got this. You are not alone. And I love you. Have a blessed September. Bye for now.